Hello, my friends. Shall we begin? Put your glasses on. These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open up my book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and whoop, close up my book. This time we have the book called The Crocodile Who Didn't Like Water by Gemma Marino. Once upon a time, there was a little crocodile and this little crocodile didn't like water. He longed to play with his brothers and sisters, but they were far too busy with swim club. And this little crocodile didn't like swim club. That's strange for a crocodile to not like water, isn't it? What he really liked was climbing trees. But nobody else did. It was lonely having nobody to play with. So the little crocodile made a decision. He had saved up all his money from the tooth fairy and he knew exactly what to buy with it. There he is sleeping with all his brothers and sisters in a big bed and he's awake thinking what he's going to buy with his money. That's what he bought. A swimming ring. The next afternoon, he took his new rubber ring over to the water. Today, he would play with his brothers and sisters in the water. There's all these brothers and sisters having a great time in the water. But he couldn't play ball or swim underwater. And although he liked climbing up the ladder, he just didn't want to jump. but he didn't want to be alone. So he decided to try one last time. One, two, two and a half, three, splash. One. Oh, he really doesn't like the water, does he? This little crocodile definitely hated water. It was cold, it was wet, and it was embarrassing. But then something strange happened. His nose began to tickle. And the tickle grew and grew and grew until a chew. <gasps> My goodness, what is that? That's not a normal sneeze, is it? That's fire. crocodile didn't like water because it wasn't a crocodile at all. He was a dragon. And this little dragon wasn't born to swim. 
Oh, look. Look what's growing here. He was born to breathe fire. And look, he's all big now. He was born to fly. And there he is, flying with all his brothers and sisters. So we did get to play with them after all. The end. That's a great story, isn't it? So it doesn't matter if you're different. It doesn't matter at all. You just have to find what you're good at and what you like. So, shall we sing the ice cream song? Now, we're going to sing it without the music. So get your ice cream cone. How many scoops do we get? Three scoops. Ready? I dream of ice cream with a cone with a cherry on top. I dream of ice cream. It's cold and I like it a lot. One scoop of strawberry, one scoop of vanilla, one scoop of chocolate fudge. Yum! I dream of ice cream in a cone with a cherry right top of the lot. With a cone and a cherry on top. Got an appetite. Hum. <sighs> that was really yummy, wasn't it? Are you going to eat an ice cream today? I'll see you soon. Bye.